I turned 18 in 41 days. Oh, I mean, as I enjoy this rice pudding. It's really good. Low calorie as well. I love it. I had like four yesterday. I think it replaced the meal. I'm stupid. It was a 1 a.m. meeting. But I think I'm just comfort you. Try to cope with the fact that even though despite I hate the word cope and I hate the idea of coping, I think I'm using binge eating and recording videos as more of like a cope in order to accept the fact that holy shit, yeah, I'm done 18 and 41 days. I think I might try to make like a sneako video on it. Like actually properly edit. Oh my god guys, edit. But um I don't do it on NT. In effect, in my Vietnamese age, I'm already 18, but I have the Chinese New Year age, or whatever you call it. I barely know, I, don't, I barely care. I'm nine months ahead because of the birth. So I'm already 18. I'm already almost turning 19. I'm prepared for it at all. I'm not happy for it, I'm not prepared for it. I got training later on today, so I got a, I got a really thing sleep wake up early. I got sparring to go to ten a.m. in the morning. I got a meet a thing meeting tomorrow in the morning. I mean, if I fall if I dead asleep right now, I get eight hours of sleep. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna toss and turn. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna, I wanna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be eating now. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm gonna do this one, and it's, it's gonna be tough. It's all self induced, it's all my fault. It's all my fault. You know, I remember the time when, rarely, very faintly, but I was seven years old and eight years old, very faintly. Despite priding myself on the fact that I have a good memory, I feel as if my good memory has been slipping, slipping ever so slightly. Perhaps because of me boxing and punching the head. But I think it's not just that, it's just I'm just diluting myself with instant gratification, social media bullshit. You know? To me, these memories aren't as important as I paint them out to be. You know? For a quick moment right there, I just relived the memories of my primary school. I kind of want to go in there again, maybe get a job there for a bit. Maybe I have to clean up some stupid shit, but just, just for a week. To look back, I don't think it's been 10 years, but it's definitely been almost 10 years coming up. When I'm 21, it will definitely be 10 years because 11 and 12 are roughly the amount of 12. I think I started secondary school, and 11 is definitely when I finished primary school. So from 3 to 11, which is 8 years. And then from 12 to 16, or 11 to 16, which is like five years. And then I turned 17 after in Vietnam, which is one of the most depressing days of my life. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, is, it is the most depressing day of my life. The, my birthday, my own birthday was the most depressing day of my life. And I, I wanted to cope and spend it like relaxing, but I had like a fucked up sleep schedule and my own mother forgot, my own mother forgot. I'm all family, I forgot. So I reminded them. But then, like, if you remind me with your birthday, it feels kind of like, kind of shitty. Because, like, you feel as if you're kind of begging for attention. And that's not what I wanted going in on my birthday, because it's my birthday. Like, guys, I obviously want attention, guys, but. No shit. Shit, my birthday. It's reminding me of my own mortality. It reminded me, like, holy shit, I've got another year to go. And that other year, the 320 days have gone, gone by and conceded and I haven't really achieved anything in my life and boom, now I'm 18. I'm 18 and I've achieved nothing in my life. That's the title of this video. Quite intense, I know. It is intense of a topic. Yeah, it is. And it hurts my heart to, to the core. How can I be happy? 
like I see these 18 year old millionaires online buy Hazard and all these type of individuals and I think myself, holy probably should be Tony and I'll be achieving or something you're achieving at 18 and I'll be two years behind and I'll be just behind, 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 behind guys in boxing I'm like 13, 14, 15 I see them boxing and I'm like yeah I'm, I'm going to be achieving what you're achieving when I'm 18 and you're, you're going to be 15 for three years on me as if you, as if you keep training which is usually the case but fuck man <sighs> Tomorrow, I did a possible. I'm gonna get my contact lens. I'm gonna set multiple alarms and everything. I'm not gonna touch them. See, even if I'm sleep deprived, I wanna try this free pack now. It was being recorded. I'm gonna put another video as well. Here's a quick short um, video. Fish my yogurt. I put condensed milk in that hole as well. Extra fatty. Love the calories. And the sparkling water. And like despite how my efforts to keep my room clean, I mean, it's still my actions are right. It still becomes a prison for me. Ah, oh, damn it! It splashed on my face. Like, how is that possible, man? Apologies for the lack of words in the video. I'm not trying to like game watch minutes. So we'll watch my video eight minutes. Yay guys. I just I think I just reached it. No, I'm, I'm 30 seconds off. Okay. There's still more I feel like I can talk about this topic. Ugh. 18. Now, what was I doing when I was te 10 years old? What was I worrying about? What was I caring about? My thoughts were so weird. Like I, I used to remember and think to myself when I was like year seven, year year nine, like the way you walk was important. Like if you walk straight, you walk straight. So I made a habit to always walk straight. You will be successful in life. If you walk straight, you'll be successful in life. So I made a habit to walk straight. No matter how much like, I tried, I walk straight. Man. I see individuals like Top G. He walks with like a weird side to side leg flat. But he's infinitely more successful than I am. And I think to myself, like, is it true that if you walk straight, you'll be successful? Because the, 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 the results of real world, we man, say otherwise. And it is true. It doesn't matter how, what way you walk. It doesn't matter what way you walk and then you suddenly become successful. It doesn't matter. What matters is how hard you work and how hard you work the right thing. That will make you successful. The, the vehicle that will, that I think, propel you to success. And this thought, had anyone told me this at that young age, I, I, I probably would have been so much more successful. But I didn't. And I think with this channel, like, a lot of these hams and metal channels are popping up, and I think that I would separate myself from them is just to really try to relate to that 16, 17, 18 year old self, which I am. I'm trying to, like, show everyone that, holy shit, yeah, I, I am with you guys on this journey. I am. 17 years old. I'm 18 years old. I'm fresh 18 years old and I kind of know what the fuck I'm doing, gonna do in my life and I do want to become immensely immensely successful and I, want, I do want to become rich and I do want to explore the world and despite me not really loving traveling so much like explained in my previous video I kind of do want it with my family with my girlfriend fiancé that's it fiancé 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 I'm not saying it wrong. My wife. My wives. 
Mashallah. Like, I'm gonna be 18. Yes, I'm every day I'm getting in better shape and yes I'm seeing more, more abs and I'm doing one minute planks, one minute planks go easy etc etc I'm about me with two minute planks while I'm so badass I'm broke now what the fuck does it matter if you're rich or broke like who, who really gives a fuck nobody nobody and like that dilemma pops in my mind like the 18 year old who's a skinny scrawny kid is in terms of society, he has provided more value and in terms of society, is better off than I am with me, like with all my muscles and I'm broke in my clean room and his dirty ass room but he's making millions because I feel like you can always clean your room later and I, I guess he feels the same way about money, right? he can always make money but it's only until you, you make that money and I guess for me getting in shape it probably is Significant for him, like everyone what has their own battles, right? He probably sees what getting in shape, or he wants to get in shape, but he doesn't really want to exercise. And he sees, like, oh, the more I age and the, the, the more difficult it is to exercise, and he thinks about those type of things when I really don't. I just focus on exercising. And I maybe could apply that to my entrepreneurship endeavors, like instead of worrying about, oh, the time to become rich and uh, 18, two years of development, and then I'll be 20 and 21, etc. Et like, I need to stop giving a fuck about that and start giving a fuck more about my work and my workflow, my efficiency. I think, despite the fact that I am trying to do that, I am not doing that. Do or do not, there is no try, right? I am trying to no avail because you never really succeed in what you try, you succeed in what you do. There's a difference, right? So instead of doing, doing, like focusing on trying to be more productive and focusing on like how long it will take me to be more productive and thinking about oh I'm 21 and I'm now I'm just successful and, and everything and like oh, that's kind of embarrassing and etc etc bro it's not embarrassing if you just become successful in, in general like, if you become successful yes it was difficult you could just always rationalize it with other people if you're too sure of un thing, unsure about social status you always say to yourself like yeah it was difficult it was a battle and you know everyone looked at me as a failure but now I have a big house and I have a big car and now I'm here with my lovely two wives Guys want. I kind of think one girl is enough. Headache. I'm not even trying to write one. No, that's a different, different topic. Like, I'm here with my two wives, and um, I've got, we've got a bunch of kids, and I'm happy now, but, and I'm still young. I'm still young enough to know, see my kids grow up, and by the time they're 16, I'll be 36, because I had kids at 20. Or 30, I'll, I'll be 37. So I'll be really, really young, and I can still have a fuck more kids, and still enjoy life, still its maximum. And like, what am I really missing out? Party and clubbing? I can do that later on. Like, whatever I have the money I have the time who cares so to me physical success means so much but I'm seeing it in the wrong way like I'm 18 and I've achieved nothing that's all I think in my mind instead of thinking about that I should think about I'm 17 still I have 41 days the days are going down by the minute I have a month and a bit left until I turn 18 how can I leverage this time in order to work as hard as I possibly can and get some results? Doesn't matter how small, some results in order to feel as if I'm in control of my life. That's why I should be looking at. Not, I'm 18 and I'm going to be a failure and oh, I'm going to turn it, I'm turning 18, I'm 17. Uh. Like, the way I'm thinking is intrinsically wrong. If you clicked on this video and you said to yourself, yeah, I'm also 18 and I've achieved nothing in my life, you are thinking intrinsically wrong. You should be thinking, what can I work the hardest on right now at this moment? Because it will not benefit you if you think to yourself, I'm 18 and I've achieved nothing. And people, other people telling you, yeah, you're 18 and you achieve nothing. They're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're haters. And oh, F the haters. But they're not haters if they're telling the truth. If you're 18 and you truly, truly achieve nothing, like, yeah, it's the truth. I mean, it's true. I mean, yeah, I have to do nothing. Okay, so what can I achieve? And then you spin it back on them. So what do you think I can achieve? Oh yeah, get a job. And you think to yourself, like, I have more than a job. I'm more than a, a thing. Temporal prostitution. I trade my time for money. Paycheck. I'm more than that. I barely feels worth it. I spend money on stupid shit. And then I, ba I basically work for free in that sense. If I spend money on stupid shit. Like, I'm more than that. If you clicked on this video and you said to yourself, yeah, I'm 18, I'm doing nothing. Then you are wrong, my friend. Doesn't matter what gender you are, doesn't matter what race you are, doesn't matter what. That, that race is retarded. Okay? 
and I'm Asian. I'm, I'm ethically diverse in that sense. That shit is so stupid, it's nuts. I literally have been the most diverse person in any group ever, period. Cats come in my room. Pongi! Can't come see you. Close the door. Come in and close the door. I'm closing the door. What the? I don't know. I don't know. This stupid mirror is like it's not helping me. Hey! Huh? Go to sleep, man. I thought it was some ghosts and shit, bro. As a coward, as a coward you are. But no, it's not a ghost. It's my fucking cat. I don't believe in ghosts. I think ghosts, they probably do exist, but like, what the fuck terrorize me? I'll whoop your ass in hell. I'll whoop your ass here, I'll whoop your ass in hell. I'll use my spiritual fist, divine king fist, whoop you. 18 and G, nothing. Like, if you clicked on this video and you said to yourself, like, yeah, I'm, I agree with this guy, I'm 18 and G, nothing, listen to what he has to say. And then, like, you kind of just negatively reinforce yourself, then you're absolutely utterly stupid. This race thing is stupid as well. Like, building up, building up with that, I've always been the only Asian kid in class. And, like, there's only, like, one random other Asian girl that I'm friends with as well. And I'm like, oh, you guys should be a couple. The type of shit. Yeah, I've always, I've always been that. And, like, I was like, ew, no, what the fuck? Which ended up making me not even like Asian girls for a very, very long time. So recently. It's crazy. It's more like that during your childhood can impact your mind and your preferences for a lifetime. And... I think keeping an open mind was very, very important to me. So, yeah, I like Asians and girls again. Yay! Yay! I'm, I'm gonna cop that out. Oh my god, we're from the world. So, ladies, I'm not gonna shut the fuck up. So, to me, it was like. Fighting demons, fighting an uphill battle every single time when it comes to this 18 thing, and I think it still will be. I'm saying it isn't 18 already, but I think it still will be an uphill battle every this 18 thing. And like to me, I think that when I'm 18, I really just want to sell my PS4. That's my biggest technique. That's what this game promise, or like like um, technique. How do I say like a promise? Yeah, technique. In Vietnamese, and that's my biggest promise, telling him. And time I turn 18, because I don't want to see myself as a game anymore. And I, I'm fucking not a game anymore. I don't really play games. I went on today because I was a fucker. I wanted to buy my um, Mirage Prime Blueprint for 40 Platinum and Warframe. And then like I went on there and I'm like, oh, you, I already have one. Like after, like I tell you, invite me. Let's I think, I think let's uh, let's play with some sort of. I think I thought who was gonna buy after me. He said already, he already bought it. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why would you tell me to buy it? It's been a day, it's been one whole day, and you already got it. It's like, what the fuck, dude? What was the point? Pointless, man. Let's the fuck off. Anyways. <laughs> I have tissue in my room. Oh, oh, I do. I do. I do. I got this half used tissue right here. Nice. No, it's not even used. Sick. Yeah, I always just have tissue in my room. I was stuck. Eighteen. I think turning eighteen finally go. 
Going to all the way. Shut the fuck up. Why am I making these stupid noises and faces? It's ruining the vibe of my video, the serious, like, motivational vibe. Fuck, man. That's gonna, that's out of the, that's out of the cut. That's not making the cut. I'm trying to cut, yes, you'll see it. But who watches my videos anyway, so I'm chilling. For now. But until I get viral. Oh no. Man, my tennis is again. It's really fucking annoying. You know, I got my earwax removed. Didn't really help the issue. Because of my earwax, my hearing. You know, hearing fucking beats are damaged. Because I used to listen to ear rape, not, like, not ironically. And I was always, loud, always around loud music. And yes, it damaged my hearing. It fucked me up. For 18, I want to sell my PS4. I don't want to be a gamer anymore. I am not a gamer anymore. I'm not even a gamer to begin with. I'm not a gamer, period. And to me, I want to possibly try to fix and like get this project done, fixing some of my monitors right there. I don't want to keep them anymore. See them stuck like a hassle, and you know, at the moment, for the moment, I feel like I think, like, mm, yeah, it's cool to have more monitors now. So I'm just thinking, yes. <laughs> After that, like I would like to try to make more money. I'm try I, I want to make more money, and I should make more money. When I'm 18. That's like most things I want: Just money, getting in shape. Getting in shape, I'll get in shape anyway. Like, I just need to keep exercising. Dark period. That's what I need to do. I wish I could see it similar with money, but I don't particularly know the full ins and outs, the nuances of money. I can work really, really hard and. Potentially see no avail. I mean, the, then again, like any time I, I did work hard, I did see some some more results. So I can't really say that. That's stupid me to say. I'm just unsure about this direction life I'm taking. And what I, but I am sure of one thing that is fiscal income. I'm, I really want to become rich. I think if I become rich, the majority of my problems are solved. And any other problem that pops up is seems so menial to me. And yes, a problem is still a problem. Is why rich people still struggle in some aspects. No, more money, more problems, etc, etc. But I feel as if any of the menial tasks, like bills and housing, and food, it was taken care of. And the fact that, like, I, I know I can retain discipline despite being in a comfortable environment, it, that, the fact that that exists, I feel as though, for the most part, I'll be fine. I, money won't break me. Money won't make me insane. But perhaps five years ago, or like two, three, four years ago, when I was a bit more simpish, retard, then it would have affected me much more. 18 and achieve nothing. I have 41 days to fix this. It doesn't have to stay this way. Like, it doesn't have to stay like, oh, I'm 18 and I've achieved nothing. And it doesn't have to be like, oh yeah, I'm 18 currently and I've achieved nothing as well. Like, you can you can make small incremental changes just right now. You can buy uh, saying realistic goals. No, I think saying unrealistic goals is the best way to go about it. To have that unrealistic childish dream that people often laugh at yeah I want to go to space which is not even fucking laughable at this point because people fucking I take you seriously because Elon semi seriously because Elon yeah I want to go to space yeah I want to be a multi-millionaire oh, people laugh at that actually it's crazy to think about but going to space is okay right which is crazy I think going to space is worth more than a million dollars the experience itself is worth more than a million dollars and I think it being, it being priced lower than that is quite a blessing in disguise Anyways, more than that, what was it again? You just need like extensive degree shit, like astronaut training, fuck. I think being 18 and achieving nothing is one of the most normal, sad things. The most sad things to be normalized in today's world. And I think that's kind of retarded. Because by 18, like, if you've achieved nothing, you kind of feel out of touch, out of place. I know so many 18 year olds that have achieved nothing and people are like oh you can't compare yourself to buy Hazard because you've achieved nothing in your 18 uh, look at the majority of other losers that are 18 that do absolutely fuck all and obviously they're going to achieve nothing if they don't put the work towards something like duh like any path like in MJ DeMarco states in the book like the pathway to become successful when you're young is often like sports, singing, musician, entertainer, that type of thing, right? Which requires an immense amount of work. And for most people, being young and being rich and being powerful 
there's a compute for them. It isn't like a real idea for them. And it's often stupid to think about for me because like it is often stupid to think about because like that's not true. There is so many rich people that are young and then they are hard working. And like, why can't I be one of them? I think that changing the mindset that you have towards this is incredibly, incredibly important. Changing the very fabric of being that you feel towards this is very, very important. Towards creating a more powerful and sustainable future. Like how the fuck, if you think to yourself you're 18 and you achieve nothing, how are you going to stop yourself from doing that? How are you going to uh, think, go from, yeah I'm 18 I achieved nothing and, you know, uh, yeah I'm kind of a loser but uh, I'm not really doing anything about it. How, how is anything going to stop you from thinking, yeah, I'm 19, I've achieved nothing as well. Like, what will change in the following 365 days? Maybe you're working or something, and then you feel like every day you're trading 8 to 9 to 10 to 12 hours of your day to like 100 to something pounds, 80 to, 60 to 80 to 100 something pounds a day for minimum fucking wage. And like, in, you know, it extrapolates. It's fucking bullshit, man. <sighs> <laughs> it's bullshit, man. Ow. Uh. Like, what I find interesting is like one of the only things that can really change, and I think for most people as well, like, it's similar. Jesus Christ, man! Why is it so hard to breathe in my nose? Because the pollution or some shit? Probably. The air doesn't feel clean. My throat feels kind of out of place. My nose is blocked again! Fuck, man. <sighs> Jesus. Well, the only thing that most people can change is their mindset. I think we will look so much towards trying to change our current world. Trying to take the world, what is the most quickest way to become rich and what is this action, that action to become rich. And that's a good thing because that means we're action orientated. But if you don't have the base level of action orientated mindset, it will be difficult for you to use any of that information in the first place. Like in the video game analogy that I gave before that, I think it would be very, very useful to hear for you at least, because you're an idiot. I'm going to be watching all the videos, so I guess I'm an idiot. We don't talk about that though. But you, for you at least, because you're an idiot, like the video game analogy, when you're stuck, you have a problem in a video game, what do you end up doing? You end up going to the wiki, searching the, pro the problem for the quest or the or item that you desire, and you end up to trying to find a way to solve this problem or try, uh, obtain item which is effectively to solve the, solve the problem within the quest or obtain item so effectively is you use information to solve a problem correct? correct, I know I'm intelligent, I'm a genius in the world I'm a boxing genius, I'm a fucking entrepreneur genius, we know it's alright we use information to solve the problem at hand that in turn makes the information valuable that in turn makes information worthwhile because you're using it for a problem within the video game, right? So for example, you want a Damascus steel diamond embroidered um, thing, mithril sword. But you, in order to get it, you have to get mithril, 15 mithril, because it contains quite a lot of mithril from one place, from stealing it from a dragon. Then you have to take, um, you have to get elven, elven string, you have to either trade or steal from the elves. And you have to get a thing with the Yggdrasil World Tree Oak. Because this is a fucking OPS sword, right? 
um, from the world tree, which is auto also guarded by the elves, and they don't want to give that shit up. You have to either earn it yourself by the world tree recognizing you, or you just fucking steal a stick of the world tree. So you're gonna steal, 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 effectively. So you have to use information from the wiki to understand. Hmm, how can I steal this? How can I steal this? How can I steal this? Because you gotta go like rank five with elves, right? And that's fucking tough because that you have to give them a shitload of resources to become rank five, to become a trusted ally within their community. It's faster to steal to get a bad reputation, and then you work towards you know getting a good reputation after like you can always just give them more shit, and then they, they like you anyway because all all conscious beings are materialistic, right? So within this aspect, you, now you can get a thing, and then you use the information one by one by one, steal from the dragons, steal from the elves, steal from the elves again, fuck the elves. Like you use those information in order to apply it to your life, or to apply it to the video game. Same thing goes with life, you use information to become rich, to become strong, to become handsome, to avoid a healthy, oxygen advantage, etc, etc, etc. The oxygen advantage by, I don't know, the thing, psycho cybernetics, for better mindset, or ruthless, or what's it in, relentless by this one dude, and you know, atomic habits, and deep work, and all that stuff. You use the information to apply it to your real life. The problem is, when it comes to video games, when it comes to real life, Video games is often far simpler, far easier, and far more condensed for you to work hard comparatively to real life. Real life is like an endless puzzle that you need to decipher. And even when you're, the, you're near the end of deciphering it, there's still a mountain of work to decipher. Like any individual like Elon Musk or Patrick, Patrick Beck David, all these individuals, despite them effectively completing life, they have still so much more to do. And anyways, when building up in the video game analogy, the reason why it is often so difficult to work hard in real life compared to the video game is because video game is much easier in general. Like I said before, it's just much easier in general. It's quick. You use information, get information quick. Boom, 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 bang, 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 and now you got the mithril sword. And now you have the mithril sword. You spend 15 hours exactly to get um the mithril sword. It feels kind of kind of worth it. Whatever. You go to the fucking um. Uh, bah Bahamut, the fucking enchanter, and then he gives you like sharpness two trillion on it, and then it does like about roughly fucking three quadrillion damage, and then you feel like kind of worth it. But you know, there's fucking that one Chinese dude, and the one Korean dude, and the one Japanese dude that are like fucking top three, and they have like so that does like a thing 200 quadrillion damage, and you think to yourself, like, holy shit, I'm gonna do three quadrillion time to grind harder. Same parallel with real life, and you could draw the parallel like, oh yeah, that guy's richer and yeah, that guy has more stuff going on and I don't really have stuff going on, I only have me and my few millions, that guy has a, a bunch, a bunch of millions. Like, this paradigm will never fucking end, man. This paradigm of comparing yourself to someone who's better, faster, and there'll always be someone better than you, alright? And always, unless you commit either a master and you dedicate your entire fucking life to it, but are you, are you seriously prepared to dedicate your entire life to this shit? One of the best games that everyone thinks about is Faker. Even Faker got topped. Because of this trash team SK. <laughs> it's not just about playing shit, playing individual players, but team synergy, whatever. Uh, and I get another parallel to real life. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Some geek shit, man. Oh, I just want to become rich. Fuck that shit, man. Team synergy was right, though. Mm. One of the huge times about video games. Because a lot of young men and now young women as well are getting hooked on that shit, and yeah, it's manipulative. It makes us want to work hard. You know, even women want to work hard these days. Perhaps it is brainwashing by a modern, a modern, the modern world. But I think even before, like working hard to keep the house tidy, keep the house, you know, wash the dishes, woman. Uh, but women worked very hard, especially during the war as well, to make ammo and all that type of stuff. They had supply the supply jobs. The men were at war, right? So, women are capable of working hard. I think a lot of women just do desire to work hard. And a lot of women do desire to work hard uh, or hard right things. But, will it make them truly, truly fulfilled? Probably no. Like, make, men like to argue about, oh yeah, but you woman and the red pill as well. This is why I think it's kind of stupid about the red pill, but... Maybe which is why like, one of my other advice is like, don't fucking really list any of these pills. They're always stupid and try to come to your own conclusion that benefits you the most. Despite the fact that I do like the fact that, you know, I do want to get a bunch of girls, etc, etc, etc. The fact that the red pill is more just like, you get a bunch of girls you kind of don't know and you just fucking 
Or you just take them to the side and you know, uh, she belongs to the streets. And then when women hit the wall videos. Oh, I'm so sad and I have a 2 billion body count. I fucked <laughs> the majority of the population. Oh, I'm so sad. My pussy's loose and I got like 20 kids. Etc. 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 And <laughs> stupid. And I'm 37 and I'm hitting the wall. Man. I feel so crushing. Bitch, we're all at the wall. Uh, we're all at the wall. We're all suffering on a daily basis. You know, small battles. How to win them? How to lose them? We're all suffering, regardless. Welcome to the welcome to the club. You know, despite the fact that the red pill says that, I think that one of the big advice is just don't really listen to the red pill. Oh well, well, I can't. Like, what I was gonna say about the lies is that. Oh yeah, but you women, like, you would be more fulfilled when you have children. I think one of the most fulfilling things in life is having children in general. It's not just a specific woman thing. If, you ha if you're a father and you have a son, like, women, women turn um, babies into boys, right, or kids into boys, and men turn boys into men. No, turn, fathers turn boys into men, etc. Because through hardship and through understanding, because as you grow up, you kind of understand your father figure more. Despite the fact that my fucking man I didn't have a father, but I did have a few father figures coming up. Pause. Okay, my mom went. But, but I'm not gonna say this anyway, like, hey, man. Pause. Online. Uh, Top G. Andrew Tate. Okay. Hamza. Okay. Fuck's sake, man. <laughs> <laughs> To be free. Okay, guys, I think that at the end of the video, uh, I'm out of pocket. How long is this video? What the 36 minutes went way overboard, but it's, it's a huge topic, like, it's often difficult to decipher and a bunch of clips for me. More work to do, yay! Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.